calling all podcasters, musicians, vloggers, and reporters, and everyone else who wants crystal clear recording that's super portable. The Shure Motive family of microphones makes studio quality audio that's as simple as plug and play. Many of the world's top podcasters rely on Shure, and with a Motive line of iOS and USB microphones, portability is now your friend. Imagine being able to get great audio quickly and easily from your phone, tablet, or computer. Simply visit Shure.com slash Motive to start getting great audio for your content now. That's S-H-U-R-E dot com forward slash M-O-T-I-V. Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and you are listening to da, 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 No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1285. And today's show is a simple one. Well, it's not really that simple. What's the best day or and time of day to email your resume to someone? Hope you find it helpful. Hope you give it a great review. And I hope you subscribe to this show. It does make a difference. Now, I thought I'd do a short intro. Let's get going. When is the best time to email a resume and cover letter to a recruiter? That is the question for today. And um, let me start by saying, why are you sending it to a recruiter? Why not just try and find the hiring manager? Now, the hiring manager is the, the actual decision maker who's going to make the choice about whether or not you're going to be interviewed. Uh, some recruiters may do that, but why not go directly to the hiring manager? So that's point number one. Point number two is I can't find the hiring manager. JobSearchCoachingHQ.com has some tips about how to do that. Third, if you insist upon sending it to the recruiter, I saw one opinion that said Tuesday through Thursday night, 9 p.m. or later. Why? Because ostensibly it's waiting in the inbox for the recruiter to see. Now, let me give you a sense of what's, what happens from a recruiter's perspective. Uh, and this was a corporate recruiter who spoke at a large organization, well-known, well-regarded, well-liked. And I don't know what her day is like, but that 9 o'clock email, uh, email is pretty well buried in my inbox when I walk in the door. I'm getting stuff that's sent to me all night long from people who are trying to get my attention. So if someone is sending to me at 9 o'clock, there's someone sending to me at 1 o'clock in the morning, at 2 o'clock in the morning, at 3, 4, on and on and on until the next morning. Here's my suggestion. Instead of playing that game of being the first one in the inbox to be noticed, consider conceding that time. Because I'll tell you, in my case, let's say there are, it's actually more than this, there are 50 messages that I walk into on a Tuesday morning or a Wednesday morning. It's normally more than that, but let me let me deal with someone who doesn't have the same traffic I do. 50 resumes in the inbox. I'll start off with the top couple of them. And the ones that were sent to me at 6 p.m., I'm probably not going to see right away because I'm not starting with the oldest one first. I'm starting with the more recent one first. I'm kind of working my way down. Then new stuff comes in, and I'm responding to that, and then I'm going to the older stuff. Newer than older. My thought is, instead of sending it for a 9 o'clock arrival where we're playing that game, send it for a 10.30 or 11 o'clock arrival. Monday, you could go later morning than that, 11.30, 12, 12.30 arrival, 1 p.m. Or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, do it then. Uh, but you know, when push comes to shove, don't do it for 9 o'clock in the morning. Do it for later in the morning where people have a chance to get caught up on some things. They've Mondays, it's, it's tough because they may do onboarding or they have three days worth of emails in there. And you don't want to be competing with those three days. Friday after close of business, Saturday, Sunday, Monday until they walk in the door. It's three full days of emails that they're con- contesting with. So my thought is late mornings are ideal. It can even be late morning, early afternoon on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mid to late morning. Friday, do not send it in the afternoon. Better use Outlook to uh, to delay send. Uh, 
uh, the resume and cover letter. By delay send, what you're doing is allowing yourself not to get caught up in the weekend emails, but to arrive on the following Monday. I get calls from people Friday at 5.30 p.m. Like I'm sitting around wanting to have a detailed conversation with someone Friday at 5.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m., 7.30. It's bizarre. Are you sitting around waiting for recruiters to be calling you? Why do you think I'm so excited to be talking to you? So, again, think in terms of what it's like to be the recipient of your contact. Pick times that are relevant, which is what I'm suggesting here, uh, works best, and work within those frameworks, okay? So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to get even more from me. First of all, visit my website, www.thebiggamehunter.us. I have several thousand blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated my information with a focus on interviewing. If you have a few questions, contact me through the Magnify app for iOS. That's Magnify with an I at the end, or PrestoExperts.com, where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, speaking with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help with a salary negotiation, my trusted advisor services, as well as scheduling me through for Magnify or for PrestoExperts.com. Like you, I don't work for free. You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands of courses, not just simply mine. It is a great resource in a variety of different areas. Subscribe to my other podcast, which is called Job Search Radio. This one is number one in Apple Podcasts. Job Search Radio is number two. Subscribe to both. You will get great information seven days a week from this show, six days a week from the other. Lastly, I want to encourage you to join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 500 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily, and we're building a supportive group there to provide advice and counsel during difficult times. Again, the group on Facebook is called Career Angles. I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Be great. Have you heard? Metro by T-Mobile now includes Amazon Prime. Yes, enjoy the best of shopping and entertainment, movies, TV shows, music, free shipping, and much more. All included for just $40 per line for three lines. All on the T-Mobile network. Discover the smarter way. Metro by T-Mobile. That's genius. One offer per account. Offer subject to change. $12.99 per month value. Offer valid for new Amazon Prime members. Metro customers may notice reduced speeds versus some T-Mobile customers. Video at 480p. Capable device required. See store for details and terms and conditions. Welcome to the Total Wireless Store, where total confidence awaits. My wife loves when I DJ our car rides, but overages get in the way of my groove. Don't worry. You got this with Total Wireless. Right now, get 50% more data when you bring your number to any qualifying service plan starting at $35. All in the nation's best 4G LTE network. Wiki, wiki, 50% more. Now go find that perfect DJ name. New York. Discover the Total Wireless stores and get total confidence. The latest phones, the best network, all at great prices. Ends January 2nd, 2019. $35 plans and up. Excludes ports from Trackphone Wireless Inc. brands. Turn to TotalWireless.com.